Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic histogram. Friend, this is a very easy topic to understand and uh, I am very hopeful that uh, you can very easily understand the topic of histogram. Uh, friend, basically uh, today, we'll see, uh, today we will see this topic with respect to project management or PMI that what is histogram and uh, friend if you are a professional if you are a, if you are studying project management in any university or planning to give exam of pmp so friend this topic is important and you will see uh, two to three questions related to histogram in the exam that what is histogram remember one thing that you don't need to draw the histogram you just need to understand the concept its importance that why it is important the histogram to draw also friend if you are a professional project manager so again this is very important for you to understand the concept of histogram that how and when to use the histogram so friend uh, coming back to our main topic histogram histogram is uh, first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start histogram friend histogram is just simply a graphical representation of data okay just remember one thing you can say a histogram is just simply a graphical a graphical representation of data histogram is a display of statistical information that uses rectangles to show the frequency of data items in successive uh, successive numerical intervals of equal size in the most common form of histogram the independent variable is plotted along the horizontal axis and the dependent variable is plotted against against the vertical axis just see sir friend basically histogram is nothing else just simply a uh, graph you can uh, draw a graph in uh, excel as well however uh, you can use the excel uh, bar charts etc as well the technology for uh, using the for preparing the histograms friend histogram is just simply a graph nothing else it's a graph to represent the data in which we uh, we say that the independent variables are uh, on the horizontal axis and the dependent variables are on the vertical axis we will see that what does it mean by independent variable independent variable just remember one thing histogram is nothing else just simply a graphical representation of data in which we plot uh, there are two axes one axis is x axis and one axis is y axis so independent variable is always plotted uh, on the horizontal axis and the horizontal means this line and uh, dependent variables always on the uh, on the y, y axis or you can see the vertical axis okay so this is simply the graphical representation of data independent variable on the uh, x axis or on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable always on the vertical axis see friend here when i will give you some example i'm hopeful that you can definitely easily understand it's a very easy topic to understand and uh, uh, if you are a student you can easily uh, score very well in the exam so just simply see this definition just uh, see this graph uh, histogram it's a very simple example of histogram see friend here in which there are two uh, variables independent variable like exam final exam marks like a score score is independent variable score is no dependency on the number of student however number of student is the is the dependent variable it's on the uh, on the vertical axis see friend here well, num there are two variables there are two dimensions basically number of students and uh, scores okay so what you do lo you draw the histogram using these two uh, variable number of students and score score is the independent variable because it, it has no dependency however number of students is is the dependent variable and it has it has a dependency on the scores just try it remember one thing always the independent variable will come always on the uh, horizontal axis this is the horizontal axis okay this is horizontal axis and number of a student is a dependent variable and it will always come on the vertical axis like this okay now see from here uh, what uh, this graph shows you this graph shows you that if uh, there are 
like approximately 10 students who are having score around 20 are you getting my point around uh, 20 students are there who are having a score 40 around uh, 30 students like 40 students are there who are having a scores uh, around uh, 60 to 80 uh, around 40 students are there who are having 60 to 80 percent marks okay and there are no uh, less than 50 students no students and only uh, you can say from here on uh, around 20 uh, students are there who are having having 100 percent around nearest to 100 percent marks are you are you getting my point so around it shows you that around 20 percent of students are having marks around near to 100 40 percent of students are having marks 80 percent near so if you see from here it shows you that the result is good why result is good because 40 percent students are having 80 percent of marks how i am telling you this because see from here 80 is here and 40 is here just match these number here these number here so it tells you that around 40 percent of students are having 80 percent of marks around 20 percent of students are having 100 percent or near 200 percent marks so friend basically it tells you the data it tells you the mapping of uh, uh, variables so it gives you a graphical representation of data friends basically whenever we are analyzing something like we are scoping something we are preparing the scope document we are preparing the business analysis documents so we use these uh, graphs and it uh, or, or, or also if you are uh, preparing the uh, status reports for management so these graphs are very important so what you can do you can use these histograms just put the uh, dependent variable on the vertical axis and the independent variable on the x axis and just use you can use the histo uh, microsoft excel as well to uh, it's very easy to uh, plot a histogram in the uh, microsoft excel as well just use the bar charts option in the microsoft excel and you can easily draw the histogram there similarly one more example of histogram of quality matrix here like defects per hour put it there on the horizontal axis and frequency on the vertical axis it is defect per hour it is the independent variable it has no dependency on anything and frequency is the dependent variable it is on the vertical axis and it has a dependency on the defects per hour so if we uh, just uh, use these uh, graphs what it tells you see friend here it tells you that around uh, 15 uh, currencies 15 time frequency is there when defects per hour four defects per hour like it tells you that per hour four defects are there in per hour when frequency is more than 15 are you getting my point this tells you like this similarly uh, it tells you that uh, per hour six defects per hour occur when frequency is more than 10 and less than 50 it tells you like this so friend uh, basically um, uh, it it's very easy to understand the graph when you just try trying to draw there just remember one thing always the independent variable comes on the horizontal axis and dependent variable on the vertical axis and you can draw the histogram and you can def uh, you can represent the rep data very easily and people can easily understand the concept and the purpose of the data and the relationship one more um, uh, example of histogram like temperature histogram it tells you like for example under 30 31 to 40 and uh, this is the number of occurrences it so it tells you like for example it tells you that when temperature is 40 to 50 number of occurrences is around near to 35 or you can say more than 30 so friend uh, this is uh, th this tells you like this similarly when temperature is 50 to 60 a number of occurrences is less than 30 
okay are you getting my point so it's very easy to understand the uh, histogram and it represents the data and relationship among the data uh, is very easy to understand and remember one thing the graphical representation is more easy to understand rather than writing something if you just imagine that if you have to write something in a paragraph in in a microsoft word to represent to describe the temperature histog temperature relationship between the number of occurrences and temperature see how much it is difficult to uh, make someone understand that what is the relationship between temperature and number of occurrences however uh, uh, if we just show the relationship between these two variables through the histogram or through the graphical representation it becomes very easy for anyone to just see the di di diagram figure and try to understand the concept between the temperature and number of occurrences so friend uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you